Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to <laughs> uh, Sunday the 18th. Is that right? Yeah, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Day to all you fathers out there. I'm answering comments. You know, you want to say Happy Father's Day to you as well, because everybody that's commented today from yesterday's vlog with the Harley was saying, you know, Happy Father's Day and stuff like that. Well, I... I felt, because if I keep going same to you, or Happy Father's Day to you as well, it gets awkward, you know, because some of the people, well, I'm not, I don't have any kids, I'm not a father, and it just gets awkward, so I, I just don't say, I just say thank you very much and stuff, you get those weird things where you get stuck in a rut, you know, it's like when you text somebody, and then you can't, you go, thank you very much, or you answer a question, then there's another question, there's another question, another question. Just the text just keeps going and going and going. I'm like, dude, do you not have a life? I'm busy with something, you know. There's always something. People just want to, like, cling on, you know. It all happened at work, too. Can I just ask you one thing? 45 minutes later, dude, I got to get back to a job I'm working on. Someone's waiting for a motorcycle to get finished here. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um... I thought they're tinkering, tinkering with the X90. Ryan said, there's a lot of hands on this thing, Pops. He goes, I didn't do a final go over. He goes, I would suggest just go through and touch every nut and bolt. Because it was completely apart. And, but I haven't found anything at all yet. Um, I adjusted the headlight. It was pointing up just a little bit. And I uh, rerouted uh, the wires going to the taillight just clean that up just a little bit and no fault of anybody ryan literally in the 11th hour he was finishing this thing up crazy story it'd almost be cool to just sit there and have him tell that story and you guys listen to it how he found it and what he had to go through to get it and didn't think he was getting it and of course kelly's got a different story because you know your son talks to mama a different way than he talks to me you know all his excitement when he actually got it he didn't didn't think it was there and uh at the swap meet thing at the racetrack but uh anyway uh, boo, it's colder than heck out here it was 48 degrees earlier my phone i just looking at my phone it's reading from from downtown it said it's 52 and that feels cool it's a breeze of course i ain't got no coat or nothing on but uh anyway uh we'll go I'll finish up what I'm doing on the Harley and we'll chit chat about that for a half a second or two. Oh, it's been dumping all day today. Pouring. Absolutely pouring. I'm surprised there's not water puddles. There is settling a little bit in the garage. At least it's bright at the moment. That's going to make that grass, all that rain. I mean, a lot of rain. Wow, what a crazy day. But anyway. Yeah, it, it hasn't rained for about a half an hour now. We ate lunch and stuff, so there's still what's left of the pooling. Oh, <clears throat> water just hit me around the bill of my hat. Bounced off. But uh, it'd be nice if it stopped for the rest of the day. Warm up. Man, it's like nighttime temperatures out here. So I was looking for a chemical inside this box here. I thought I threw this thing away. That's that shoe goo. This thing's probably about 35 years old. It was late 80s. I want to say 87, 88. When the Traxxas first came out, I got their Rustler. And then I got their Nitro Rustler. And that was, I didn't have very many models back then. Traxxas came out in like, what was it, 85, 86, somewhere in there. Building RCs. Well, the, the type of screws they used, they would back out. So, got the hobby shop, Tim's Hobbies, over in Northeast Portland, or that might actually be North Portland, um, suggested shoe goo. And still to this day, RC shops always have shoe goo. It's a, uh, it's it's literally for shoes, but it you know it tacks up and it's pliable. You can take it off. It doesn't leave things permanent. It's like that little figure I put in the Red Cat Gen Nine. I used black shoe goo. They never had black before. It was just the clear. But the you know, the container is completely different looking than what it is now. But I was just in here tinkering with this thing. 
I cleaned up the the wiring back there. It just needs some zip ties. I haven't found anything loose. Nothing nowhere is loose. What a sweetheart. What an amazing job. I try to do like a slideshow type of thing of, of his pictures. I'll pick you know some of the good ones here. I'll do a little slideshow. Let you guys see what that's like. But this stuff was was on the seat and it, it's overspray of some sort and everybody myself included is afraid to wipe it with anything because whatever takes that off will probably take the harley davidson off of the back but whatever i can find it uh it's a little bit on the on the speedo there too whatever the spray was you know who knows what the story of this thing is you gotta see how nasty the exhaust is you know what's cool is the head pipe it stops like right back in here it goes all the way back in there and it's capped off at the end and just has two little holes on the end of a piece of straight pipe then it goes into muffler and it's got the final baffle in there that's pretty wild that's my two stages this holds it more upright that one has a normal lean to it because i was trying to adjust the headlight so it was it was more straight and when they were doing the powder coating, there were certain things they couldn't couldn't find because it was scattered so far. So the headlight bucket didn't get it in the the tail light. And he lost one of the engine hangers for a while. He's freaked out about that. It's a rubber isolated thing. It all bolts back here, and it's got bolts uh, bolts underneath. And um, finally found it the last second, so it got powder coated. I mean, that's a really nice job they did. They sandblasted all this stuff down real good. And I found a little plug. I think I got some black ones at work. But he's concerned because this is the original fuel line. Look at those, the clamp style that they use. Isn't that wild? Good focus. So it's got on the top and bottom. It's pretty wild, huh? And this is it's this is off straight up and down is on and it just you can circle it either way, and reserve does the same thing but it's on the back side of the petcock. This is the on off. This is a reserve, and reserve off. So you normally just leave that off if you're smart until you need it. And the other things you know always scavenges from the bottom of the tank. The inside of the tank looks fine. But he bought all new stainless steel hardware and it was a whole kit that he got. So some of them are a little longer than they need to be. And and it was that way with the hanger and the fuel hose was laying on the end of that bolt. If you ever tried to cut and shorten stainless steel bolts, that's a, yeah, that's an act. Yeah, stainless steel is a lot stronger than you think. But uh, anyway, that's fine. There's a little rubber plug on there. Like they got that, because the Speedo had that crinkling and the headset and you adjust the, Harley's done that forever. It's that floating ball. My iron's the same way over there. It's just a floating ball. That the headlight just dangles back there. You get it set and tighten it down. And um, the old gas tank, you had to loosen the vent. The, um, or and I remember being a kid taking off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dang, I forgot to loosen the cat, the vent on the top. Absolutely lovely. Well, I'll get those pictures together and um, see what I can make of that. We'll do that. That next. How about that? Should have known while it was raining. <laughs> I was thinking about it. But I got some comments about people asking about that as well. It's pretty cool. They did a nice job on that tank. They said that thing was rough looking. And they didn't want to take any of the patina out of it. So they didn't try to paint it. You know, it, uh, I guess they tried to find the graphics. And, you know, it was on and off. Like on eBay, it's there and it's gone. And they just decided to, to just leave the patina there and leave it like it is. And... They polished it and coated it with something. Looks really good. <laughs> what a sweetheart. I woke up first thing. 
come running out here and sat on my stool and just stared at it. Boy, the memories. The miles and miles as a kid I spent on one of these. We don't know. I don't have the paperwork. Uh, who knows? It could. I mean, there's only five, five hundred and something. I think five thirty is what he said that was sent. By then, it was um, when they first came out. They were, of course, all the Japanese and everybody's got their little small bikes. So very popular overseas. The Harleys were, and the Armachi version of this, you know, without the Harley badging, very popular. But, um, when these were built, Harley owned Armachi in Italy, so it was a cool thing. Made a lot of bikes. They even won a couple of motocross championships on their 250 motocross. Look up the Harley Davidson 250 motocross bike. That was a serious contender back in the day. Anyway, let's see what we can do with a, some kind of a slideshow here. This is how smoke re resurfaces clutches. Oh, you're taking it. <laughs> <laughs> So this is going on and on and playing with each other. Well, he comes to the house and your dogs are trying to kill him, trying to kill our calves and fall. Oh. Oh. Good. going to bed I said I had this crazy dream Brian was showing me something about an X90 he goes that was rough that was something weird drugs or whatever yeah. at the hospital but I was worried that I didn't grind it up uh -huh. so I, was, I, was, I had the What's going on? Well, does he like it? What's he saying? <laughs> I went inside there to see how that picture thing would come out. So I, I built that part. I hope you guys enjoy that because you just went through it. The front wheel, as you can see, came out perfect. The rear you just couldn't. There was so much etching in it. They couldn't get any better. But that, to me, that's beautiful. For a 50-year-old motorcycle, yeah, I'm happy with that. Absolutely. How exciting. And Ryan was concerned something would be loose on this thing. Like I told you guys earlier, he's got the brake light switch. He uh, didn't have time to put that thing on. 
He's got the brake light switch, the reflectors for the for the rear tail light. Um, like I said, the ones on the headlight were missing. But uh, with that brake light switch, um, it doesn't uh, it, it doesn't have any brakes. And actually, it's kind of a weird thing. It's when uh, um, it it releases the brake. So it's it's always on when it's up, and it releases when it goes down, and that's what makes the um, tail light come on or brake light. Well, because it's not there, it's got brake light all the time, which is fine. And uh, there's a we don't have the correct Harley housing to put the front brake switch. <laughs> the front brake switch. Mama's sneaking in the door on me there. Front brake switch on the. Uh, um, it's there. It's wired up to it. The wires are there. There's just no way to connect it. He was thinking, because it kind of looks like a clutch switch, if you could find a, a clutch. But you'd have to put, you know, the little rubber boots like Yamaha uses, actually. I was going to say Suzuki has them, but they're not on there. Yeah. Boots. Yeah, those type of boots that go over there. You can put a clutch on the brake side and with one of those boots i think yamaha and honda has them for their dual sports and dirt bikes and stuff but it'll cover up the fact that the lever's upside down it's a trick we've done all the time that's a stock harley lever but they ryan said he built that out of something a lot of work crazy crazy amount of work and boy does it show <laughs> Mama, you about to ready to step out there and do a goodbye vlog? Is that old clock up there? That's not the time, obviously. It's like it's about seven thirty or something right now, or maybe even closer to eight. The look of the bike somewhere. But um, anyway, the I've had that since Portland, I think. Yeah, we've had that long, 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 long time. It runs, but it just randomly stops. I've Kept re replacing the battery, thinking something's yeah. wrong with it. It's running now, but it just stops at times. <laughs> anyway, let's go out there and bust out a goodbye. Oh, All right. Well, hello there, you two. <laughs> it's been so long since we talked to you. I know. But it has been about five away. minutes. We were locking everything up. Perfect. I go, oh, look, we even got a little sun to do the goodbye in. And the rain comes. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for all the wonderful comments and some of you guys have even got a hold of, of Ryan. That's really cool. <laughs> that's way cool. And sent him some messages and stuff. That's really cool of you. But, um, yeah, I hope you like the little pictorial thing. That's uh, all those were, I think that was, Mac yeah, well, Ryan's pictures, Ryan and Michaela, Michaela took all the pictures. So words just don't come. Well, I've been having that for a while here anyway, so... <laughs> But anyway, standing in the rain, you hear your glasses are probably going to get off. Yep, they're already sprinkled. All speckled. Mm hmm But a wonderful weekend, wonderful Father's Day. I hope you guys had a great Father's Day. I sure did. It was, I got more stuff today, too. Mama got me some things. A cool little coffee cup with Sasha on there and a little dog saying on it. Yeah. Always had me cracking up over that stuff. I know. And then she got me a really cool hammock. She's been talking about getting a hammock for a long time. Cause that was a big thing in the south. Everybody had hammocks. Yeah. And um, yeah, we just never got around to getting one. Have one now. <laughs> Looks like a nice one. Glad we didn't put it up because it rained all day. Yeah. But she's starting to come down pretty good, so we need to bail. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Monday or Tuesday. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you then. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.